Hi. So today I went to the restaurant in Bethpage where the Planned Parenthood of Nassau County gala and silent auction was occurring. And outside of that restaurant was a group of pro-lifers. And this group of pro-lifers, their goal, the reason they were there, they were hoping that with their presence and the signs that they were holding to silently educate those who were attending the Planned Parenthood gala. This whole entire thing was sponsored by the Long Island Coalition for Life. Um, who, what they do is they defend the right to life of the unborn and they stand against the fundraising used to end the precious lives and obviously this gala was a fundraiser to do that. Um, a stat I got while I was there was that in 2013 alone Nassau County's Planned Parenthood abortion business ended the lives of 2,483 children. That's only in Nassau County over 2,000 in one year. Um, <laughs> and that really affected me. Um, seeing, yeah, so everyone there, the pro-lifers, were holding signs. They were, it was very different, because usually you think of a protest, you think of people yelling, you think of people chanting. Everyone was holding these signs, and they were being silent. They weren't yelling at these people, they weren't saying anything to these people, they were just holding these signs and hoping that these people were looking at them. Um, the signs said things like, abortion is not peaceful, and it had a peace sign with an X through it. Um, abortion is not health care. Today's abortion, tomorrow's regret. And then what really got me, there was this five-year-old boy who was there, and he was wearing a sign that said, the natural choice is life, and he was dancing around with this sign. It was so cute. Um, and that one really affected me. <laughs> and the people who were going into the gala, their reactions to this, they all seemed very uncomfortable. Like, they didn't even, they didn't want to see it. Um, a lot of these signs also had images, very graphic images, and as these people were walking in, you'd see every single person walk past them with their head down. There was not one person that walked into this gala looking up. They all had their heads down. They wouldn't even make eye contact with these people. They wouldn't look at them. There was one man walking in, and next to him was this little, this boy who was around seven years old, and he was wearing a t-shirt, a Right to Life t-shirt, a pro-life t-shirt, and he was walking into the protest and this man was walking into the gala and the man looked at him and quickly looked away and seemed very uncomfortable and he almost like ran away kind of and that was pretty crazy to see um that this little boy this child affected this man <laughs> who was going to this gala i saw another couple who the wife wouldn't even go through that entrance they actually made her husband i watched her pull him the other way and t shake her head and go into a different entrance because she didn't even want to walk past them the demographic of the people who were pro, who were the pro-lifers, it was strange. It was all people like 40 and above, maybe even older than 40, and then young families and young children. And it was kind of disappointing. I actually didn't see anyone my age there. I wish there could have been. Um, I definitely think this type of protest, this peaceful, just educate. They just, they're all they all they wanted to do was educate people, and I think that's definitely valuable, and it's definitely, it definitely works. I mean, seeing these people's reactions, like, they knew, almost like they felt bad for it. And I personally am a pro-lifer, and being there, I wanted to join them so badly. <laughs> um, but I was just there to observe. And I know I'm going to start keeping up the Long Island, Co Long Island Coalition for Life. I'm going to check up on their website, and definitely if they're doing this again, I will be there. I'm positive. Um, the way they did this was it was amazing, and I will definitely beat it the next one. Um, yeah, that's about it.